lower right hand corner is the Yez Atashbera and of course in the middle is the Iran Shah Atashberam with Nausari on the left and Modi Atashberam on the right and on the above we have three Kadmi Atashberams. People don't realize that there are two Kadmi Atashberams, the upper right hand corner of Banaji Atashberam and Dadi said in Mumbai then the Vakil Atasberam in Surat, Kadmi Atasberam, and then of course we have Anjuman and Avadiyaji Atasberam up in the upper right hand corner up there, top and bottom. Hope you recognize that. The some current status of places of worship. The last official Atasberam, as I said, was consecrated on October 17, 1897. Since then, no Atashbera, nowhere has been consecrated. Number of Adarans or second grade has been consecrated in India and Pakistan over the last two, three centuries. But recently, no such Adarian have been consecrated. Please note that new places of worship are seldom built and consecrated anymore. In fact, as I mentioned, that many of them are closed and merged with the other existing places of worship. Now let's go a little bit to the second grade of Atash uh, Kadeh or Atash Adaran. They require only four fires instead of the 16 fires. I am on 20, slide number 20. I hope everybody is following me. Okay. So the four fires are from the four uh, 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 groups of people that we usually have called Atornan, the priest, Rateshtar, military, Vastrayosh, agriculture, and Hutoksh, is tradesmen. There are four of them. For Atornan, you get it from Dastur, head priest, ordinary priest, head layman, and of course the donor. Many of the Atashbir Adarians are actually done by donation from one family. And that's why we call them like Wadiyaji Adaryan or uh, Banaji Adaryan and so on. So we take the fire from those people and call it an Atonan fire. We mix all this fire together as one Atonan fire. The Ratesh Taran fire, military fire, is from a governor, ruling authority, collector, military officer, police officer, or chief judge, anybody and everybody we collect from different places, combine into one representing Rateshtaran fire. The Vastrayoshan fire are from agriculturists like a Hindu or Parsi cultivator, gardener. You know in those days we have lots of Iranis with, with their wadis and we used to collect their fire as a Vastrayoshan fire. And the final one are the artisans, the Hutoksha, goldsmith, silversmith, ironsmith, tinsmith, dyers, coppersmith, distillers, bakers, potters, tillers, brick makers, etc. You can see even in these four fires we are representing the whole area around us with different uh, uh, agriculturists and so on. So this is a much simpler process. The, the procedure is almost same. You collect the four like we did it before. You purify them first as we said. But we only do it three times, not this 91 times as we saw before to 33 times for Atashbera. Just three times. And then consecration, we have four pairs of priests perform Yazashne and Vandida for two days in front of the fire. So that's the consecration step for Adaran. And then I am on slide number 21. We say that on the third day then, the four fires are united into one by a Tonan fire receiving the other three. And then all the priests unite themselves by Pavan, combine four fires and pray Atash Namaskar prayer three times. Then two priests of a Tonan fire perform Yazashne and Vandida on it. And on the fourth day, another Yazashne, and the fourth day is the enthronement of the sacred fire of the Atash Adaran. And the procedure for enthronement is exactly the same. The two priests then bring the fire in the procession to the sacred sanctum sanctorum, start the fire and do the Atash Niyash. All the priests may want to join them. 
and after the Atashnyas they go into the hall and do a Jashan ceremony and the Jashan ceremony may have the same number of three Kardas or different ones and that finishes enthronement of the Adaran fire. I am now on 22 slide and uh, for Atash Dadga, this is a very simple process comparatively speaking. Usually it is in a new building, but in many places in our diaspora cities in North America and other places, we sometimes take up a building that is already there, like they did it in Zagni, and uh, we kind of uh, consecrate that building for the Atash Dadga. The building is completely cleaned and washed, and then they wash it three times again to purify it, and the consecration ceremony is last for four days. If you're in India, you could do Yajashna and Vandida ceremonies in a real sense for first three days, and then the Yajashna ceremony on the fourth day. In North America and other places where we do not have consecrated fire temples, we do certain ceremonies, which could be a minimum is a Jashan ceremony, but you could do the, the reading and we will talk about that later on. And after the Yajashna ceremony and one did that on the fourth day then a Jashan and Bach ceremony is performed for the inauguration and the same fire that was used in all this ceremony then it is used in the sanctum sanctorum with Hatash Nyaya's prayer and that's how we enthrone a Atash Dadga fire. The last Atash Dadga that I was involved with or I know about is, is inaugurated in North America with the ceremonies of a Vandidat recital only, not the ceremony but the recital, and then a Baj and a Jashan was in May of 2011 in Dallas, Texas, and I was privileged to be one of the mobeds in all the ceremonies performed. In this case, I just want to give you what was done for this Atash Dadga consecration. We first had three Mohabeds do the just one did a recital, as you see on the upper left hand corner. We laid the Pavi for the Bach ceremony as it was performed on the upper right corner. Then a Jashan followed by picking up the, the fire as a, to the Sanctum Sanctorum and then the enthronement of the Dadga in the Atash Dadga in the Sanctum Sanctorum. Again, Joanne and I were privileged to be there for all this. So we have talked about the consecration thing. I am on slide number 24, and now I am on slide number 25 with the agenda items number 4, which is the Marazban Gyara Axon book, and here is the book on slide number 26.